to have a recap on the convolutional neural networks that we covered in the previous lectures and we know that convolutional neural networks or CNNs are partially connected networks and the target is to reduce the dimensions the dimensions of your input while retaining the features in the images so you reduce the dimension you equipped the features and use them to classify recognize the image can be used for voice recognition systems etc some of the applications mostly we are dealing with sequential data which have spatial and temporal characteristics and we are trying to find these within our images so the general architecture of a convolutional neural network there is an input image it could be grayscale image or an image colored image such as rgb so if we have multiple channels here we have three represented here so these are your rgb image and we would have three one one for each then we will have a set of convolutional plus pooling layers a number of layers and these layers they are used basically for feature extraction and then one important factor here is that because we at this point of the network we have m feature maps high level feature maps so we need to flatten the feature maps so that they can be fed into the fully connected layer so this is an important factor that i missed in the last lecture so we need to flatten this first to obtain all the features that we have extracted from the previous layers and then we input them into the fully connected layer and in the last we will have number of nodes equal to our classification for example in this case we have 15 wickets so we will have 15 nodes if we have digit classification we will have 9 etc So this is your channel architecture for the convolutional neural network and we came across the term kernel for your convolution. They can be of size 3 cross 3, 5 cross 5, usually we have odd numbers depending on input image size and the desired feature extraction that we want to do. So convolutional kernels, we discussed that we can have convolutional kernels and they will be sliding on your input image. And we discussed in the previous example that it was one pixel at a time. So we can say a stride of, we can call this stride, stride of one. If we take a stride of 3, that means we will be taking steps of 3 to find the convolution. Then we have the pooling layer we discussed. So the pooling layer does not affect the weights. It just extracts the main features 
using different techniques such as averaging or max pooling and it is used for subsampling so the number of channels we can increase or decrease in or when we are creating the convolutional kernels for an input image for example we would have for rgb image we will have 3 and there are also some other types of images such as grayscale images cmyk hsv and different different or there are some of the types of the image that we have that we can consider as an input to your cnn and we know that the input images can be high definition for example an 8k image of size 7000 by 4000 pixels could have a size of 8k so what we are interested in we are interested in re reducing the dimensions without losing the features in our image these features are extracted to classify your image some of the examples well known example are linet lxnet vggnet googlenet restnet there are different versions of these then we have zfnet so these are some of the examples of existing convolutional networks that you can use as a baseline to compare your own models some of them are very complex they do the the data sets usually they use is mnist cifar cifar 10 cifar 100 so some of these data sets they are used for input or testing your convolutional neural networks Okay, here one of the uh, dimensional dimensions of layers in convolutional neural network, I wanted to make it clear or explain to you more. So if we have an input image, let's suppose we have a 64 by 64 size image, 64 pixels by 64 pixels, it is a grid, it is considered as an input. And here we are using a kernel of size 7 cross 7. And it will be sliding onto your network and a total of six such kernels are used so one six seven cross seven another one seven cross seven another one all are different and we have six such kernels and each of them will have a bias value total we have six bias value per kernel one per kernel so the convolution layer the size would be